I, I had a father who was very damaged because of his own background um, and married many times and should never have had a child. My mother died when I was 18 months old. And, and you know, bless him, he shouldn't have had a child because his lifestyle didn't allow for a child. You sound so like was, a, it sounded like you were a parcel that just got passed that's from one person to the next. Well, that's ex exactly the title of one of my chapters is Pass yeah. the Parcel because that's exactly what happened to me. And then when you were, sent, you were sent away to these two ladies who had a farm and then you were sent away to school and it's almost like you were just passed from one person to another. Yeah, How did you develop your own self-worth? I suppose as soon as I got to them, because that's when I found my real heart's home, I found my spiritual home, with two people who were loving, caring and uh, who gave me stability. And it was the first time. And, and that's why after my first stay there, the one thing I wanted was to go back. Yeah. Mm. This was, it was Sylvia and Cordy. That's right. Yeah. So and you went the... from them to boarding school, then yes. to boarding school. Oh, yes, because yeah. I was at boarding school anyway, yeah. which I loved. I loved that because we all got up to great japes at school. <laughs> loved it. <laughs> Naughty girls. Um, but... Uh... <laughs> There's a picture What's there. That? Look, there you are. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Take oh it my away. Goodness. You look like... Rubble. The most hideous child. <laughs> Not at all. I look as if I would have ended up in the SS. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's where I got my stability from. Their values, their, their harsh way of life gave me, I think, a bit of iron in my soul. And I just, and of course, that developed my love of animals. Mm. Because we, we, we worked hard. We had a hill farm and it was... I mean, what you also get through the books, you're a very pragmatic person. It's not a kind of mm. woe is me story, oh, despite God, no, the fact that not. you would read it and think, oh my goodness, you know, that that was difficult for a child to deal with. You're a kind of pick yourself up with the bootstraps and get on kind of person, yeah? Yes. Well, if it's happened, it's happened. There's nothing you can do about it and there's no point in moaning about it. So just get on with it. I, I hate victim attitude. I think that's... It's yeah, pointless. You're a survivor, aren't you? Yeah.